What is the coalescent theory? The coalescent theory is a simple model that shows the relationship of how one allele relates back to the common ancestor. Firstly, coalescent comes from the word coalesce, which is the act of coming together. Like two people could coalesce in marriage, or two words can coalesce to form another word. The coalescent theory disregards everything that has to do with natural selection, gene recombination, and population structure. Let me break it down for you. Natural selection is how organisms choose their perfect mate. They look for traits that could benefit their offspring. For example, if we had two giraffes, one with a long neck and one with a short neck, the long-necked one would have a better chance of being chosen as the ideal mate, since its longer neck allows it to reach more food rather than the shorter guy. Sorry, little guy. Gene recombination is the reshuffling and rejoining and recombining of the genetic material. And finally, but not really, we have population structure, or gene flow. Gene flow is exactly what it sounds like. No, it is not your genes going whitewater rafting. Gene flow is the exchange of genetic variation from one generation to the next. And now that I have you thoroughly confused, let me tell you who to blame. Here we have John Kingman. He's the one who came up with the coalescent theory. Of course, every single one of our favorite theories has a beautiful, simple equation to go along with it. Let me break this one down too. Let's pretend we have N elephants and one of them has a special little allele you want to investigate. The generation before our current generation also has N elephants. So the probability that the allele you chose had the same parental allele would be 1 and 2N, right? One allele, N elephants in each of two generations, 1 out of 2N. But the probability that the alleles don't match is 1 minus 1 over 2N. That's because 1 is the largest amount probability can equal. I mean, it's not possible that you have 10 eighths of one pizza. Mmm, pizza? No, these are the probabilities. But what if you want to keep going back? So you go back two more generations, and then yeah, it matches. Now, T is the number of generations you have back. So you have four generations back, and your allele matches. You now put the probability that the allele didn't match to the power of the generations it didn't match for. So that's four generations, and match for one, didn't match the other three. That's why it's T minus one, or four minus one all times the probability that it did match. In a nutshell, the coalescent theory is a theory that shows us how two alleles from two separate generations relate back to each other when no other factors are involved. And this is the equation that allows us to visualize it. And ta-da, that's all there is to it. That's how we know that monkeys are our MRCA, or most recent common ancestors. Or is it that tail I see behind you?